Hello, hello everybody, what is going on guys? Game Taco here, we're in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, and today we're gonna hunt a pink Wraithian. So this is a caravan 8 star quest, and it's called <laughs> In the Pink. What a great name for a Wraithian quest. So, uh, hunt a pink Wraithian, this is in the dunes at nighttime, and the subquest is wound a pink Wraithian's head. We'll see if we can do that or not. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that and show you what gear I'm using. Whoops, not that. Okay, so I have the Ascon, which is a Dragon Dual Blade. It's the Shigar... No. It's the Gormagala's high rank Dual Blade. So it has uh, Dragon Attack on it, which the Pink Wraithian is weak to, which is why I'm using this. I would have the next Dual Blade in line after this, but I cannot for the life of me get a freaking Shigaru Plate. That Desire Sensor, man. That Desire Sensor, it's a thing. I'm serious. Anyway, I also have the Akantor set. And I also have a special talisman, which has poison, because you know me and my luck with poison. Um, I have critical eye plus one, sharpness plus one, negate poison from my talisman, and some uh, gems. And I also, unfortunately, have blunt edge. I don't have enough slots to gem that out. So that's what we have. I already ate. And uh, I guess we're all set. Wait, let me show you what I have in my inventory. I need to refill my mega potions. Look at that. All right, so I have some potions. I have plenty of antidotes. Uh, I got some Mega Dash juice. Uh, we're in the dunes at night, so we'll need some hot drinks. Uh, let's see, I'm bringing some barrel bombs and a shock trap and materials to make shock traps as well. So that's everything. Let's go ahead and restock all my Mega Potions and we can leave. Oh man, a cinematic. I haven't actually fought this thing more than once in 4 Ultimate. So this will be a new experience for all of us, I guess. Well, probably not you, because you're probably way ahead of me. Because I've been taking my sweet time with this game. Ah, oh, it's, it's just a an area cinematic. That's lame. Alright, well, at least we have the map now. Because I cannot, for the life of me, remember anything about any map in this game. Gonna go ahead and pop a hot drink. So, uh, the Pink Rathian should start in area 2. Let's go ahead and run over there real fast. And there it is, over the sand mound. Maybe I can get a jump on it. Ah, oh, nope. Oh well. So, the Pink Wraithian, as I'm sure you know, it loves to backflip. Backflipping is its thing. I do have plenty of experience fighting this from 3 Ultimate. I'm not sure of any new moves. Oh. There's that backflip already. Um, but as I was saying, I'm not sure of any new moves yet. I guess we'll just have to uh, fight it and experience it for ourselves. Actually, before I do anything else, I'm going to paintball it. Always got, in the, got to get in the habit of paintballing things. Ow. That was a quick charge. Now, fortunately, uh, the Cantor set does have crazy fire resistance. Because the Cantor basically lives in a freaking volcano, so... Uh, her fireballs shouldn't do too much. Uh oh, she's roaring. She's probably gonna backflip right now. Or not. Or, okay, yeah, that was a very quick backflip. Good thing, um... I had poison resist. Come here, you! Yeah, that's right. Mounting is a freaking lifesaver in this game. Hopefully I don't lose it. Oh my god, two bars in a row. Come on, oh no. That was so close. I almost screwed that up. Get in the demon mode. I don't trust this thing at all. Is she leaving? She is leaving. Wow. Freaking wonderful. I swear, man, the monsters, they just leave so quickly. Doesn't make any sense. At least I have the anti-poison. It's really... I don't even know why I brought antidotes if I... If I have anti-poison. I didn't think that far ahead. I guess I just don't trust it at all. 
I've been burned too many times. I can't trust it. But yeah, I'm sure if you, um, you've, re you've been watching my channel for a while, you know my experiences with Pink Raytheon. Uh, actually, the very first time I ever fought one. I've told this story a million times, but <laughs> I enjoy complaining about it. Um, the very first time I ever fought a Pink Raytheon, I took basically 10 potions, 10 mega potions, enough supplies for 10 potions and 10 more mega potions, and 10 antidotes, and basically I ran out of antidotes. I ran out of Andos halfway through, ran out of potions, ran out of herbs, ran out of mega potions, ran out of every healing item I had. All the first aid beds, they were gone. <laughs> there was like... I saw the five minute marker countdown, like five minutes left or whatever. And then... Uh, basically there was one minute left, and then I beat this thing with like 30 seconds left. It was ridiculous. But I was so unprepared for it, because I'd never fought anything like it before. That was, uh, high rank in 3 Ultimate. In the single player. Oh no. That was a bad idea. I really don't like doing the combos with, uh, the Pink Raytheon. The A and X. Just because I feel like it locks me in place for too long. Uh oh. Crazy backflip, though. I still don't know how to avoid it. <laughs> see if I can mount him again. Nice! Another mount. Come on, burn it down, burn it down. Get up here. Maybe I could break the head. I'm curious to see what the DPS is on your Demon Slash, or if you just do the uh, X and A, like Whirlwind Slash. Because the Demon Slash doesn't refill your combo meter nearly as quickly as it used to. So it's actually faster to just uh, press, just to use my, your uh, Whirlwind combo. Alright, where's it going? It's going up to four. Oh my god. That little bastard. What are you doing? What are you doing, Pinky? Freaking... Where is it going? Nice! Oh my god. Oh, man, that dodge, though. I feel like that should have hit me. Oh, man, monsters still just sit in the freaking entrances and knock you through. I feel like it happens more in 4 than 3. Which is surprising. Whoa! Freaking Taco. Freaking Taco, what are you doing? I want to get the shiny. <laughs> Shinies before monsters. Of course it's leaving. This is one flighty pink Raytheon. And there goes its head. That's what I like to see. This thing is basically... Really exhausted. It's leaving. Wow. Or it's just going down there. I'm gonna put a trap down. I was debating on putting the uh, the bombs down right there. Well, I thought the Raytheon might shoot a fireball. Come on. Get over here. Yes, blow it up. Alright. 
I thought the Nahabra would blow it up for me. <laughs> Didn't quite work out that way. It's limping. So this thing will probably go to sleep. Perfect opportunity to craft another trap. And then maybe, uh, maybe it'll be asleep by the time I get over to Area 5. Hello, Raytheon. I'm going to destroy you now. What is that? What the hell? Come on, die. You know you want to. Wow, I'm surprised that run didn't hit me. Freaking Remo Bra. Whatever it's called. Didn't quite cut off the tail yet, though. I have, though, then again, I haven't really been attacking the tail. Just kind of trying to focus on the head just to bring it down quicker. Wow. The tail snipe. Oh. Oh my god. Watch me die at the very end. Watch me die at the very end. Oh my god, jump slash. For the finisher. Awesome. I think Raytheon didn't stand a chance. I like how it's just clipped inside of the, the ledge right here. It's so satisfying whenever you kill a monster with the jump slash. It's like the best feeling in this game. Unleashing, unleashing a super with your charge blade and doing a jump slash to kill something. Best feelings in Monster Hunter. Ice Crystal times two. Fusium. Oh my gosh. All my favorite items. Well, that wasn't too bad. That was much easier than uh, the first time I ever fought him. Much easier than the last time I ever fought her. Let's see what we get for the Pink Raytheon. Pretty decent amount of items. Didn't see any rares though, unfortunately. No gems or plates. Nice. New record. Longest pink Raytheon. Anyway, that was in the pink. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. My name is Game Taco. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button because there will be a lot more Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate videos. Uh, so I guess that's everything, and I will see you guys later. Peace.